patient lies prone, both limbs in slight medial rotation and abduction, the pelvis slightly elevated. Palpation. The most important marks are the two cornua sacralia. The cornua are best found on the following way. The posterior superior iliac spines are marked. The thumb and middle finger are placed on the spina iliaca posterior superior. Then the index finger moved caudally in the midline until an equilateral triangle is formed. At this point the two cornua may be located under the median sacral crest and marked. Superficial local anesthesia. If much hair is present, the lower sacrum is shaved. The physician stands on the patient's left side, his left thumb on the hiatus, between the two cornua. After local disinfection with isopropanol 70 degrees, the skin and the subcutaneous tissue over the hiatus are rendered anesthetic. Note is taken of the angle at which the little needle has to be held to penetrate the intercornual ligament under the left thumb. The insertion is made with a lumbar puncture needle, equipped with a stilet. He thrusts the needle through the spot in the skin already anesthetized, just below the hiatus and the palpating thumb, along the same tracks as the needle used for surface anesthesia. After piercing the intercornual ligament, the needle is advanced. It may slip intrasacrally without further ado. If it reaches bone in the sacral canal, then the needle is withdrawn slightly and directed more horizontally, conform with the shape of the mid-sacrum. By bending the needle, these two steps may be combined. Now the syringe with 20 ml procaine 0.5% is attached to the needle and suction applied for blood or cerebrospinal fluid. During the injection, one should keep the free hand flat on the patient's sacrum in order to discover quite soon a possible extrasacral injection.